Hey everyone, welcome to this lightning fast update, but happy new year. I hope you have a great 2024 and had a nice break over the holidays. An update this week, super, super fast. New videos, I dived into the new filtering capability when you wanna go and see what conditional access policies you have. So hey, show me the ones that require MFA etc. So I've got a number of different filters I can now use to find which conditional access policies I'm using against certain types of targets. And then also using templates to create my conditional access policies. There's fantastic templates available now for a number of different scenarios. And then last week, I did a video on what Azure Stack HCI was, its use cases at Distributed Edge. And I talked about how integrated with Azure it was, well, people asked, can you show it? Like, what does that really look like? So I do a complete start to finish install of HCI. I show you how I trigger the cluster creation from Azure and then deploying some workloads, just so you can see it in action. So then the update, it's simply so Azure Spring Apps Enterprise, obviously a fantastic platform that abstracts nearly everything away. I can just focus on my Spring applications. All that enterprise SKU is now eligible for Azure Savings Plan. Azure Savings Plan, remember, is that super flexible dollar commitment per hour for a one or three year term. Any region doesn't care for all of those compute services that are included. Well, now Azure Spring Apps Enterprise is included as one of those compute services. So every hour that billing mechanism wakes up and applies the biggest discount it can to what services you have of the type and then works its way down. So it's always gonna try and give you the best bang for the buck. And that was it. So as always, I hope this was useful. Again, have a fantastic 2024, and I'll see you at the next video.